Okay, staying awake or staying the observer or staying in the attitude of being the infinite, shall we say, or the oneness or the beingness or the isness, however, you, or the holy instant, uh, however, or God consciousness, however one wants to describe, or flow is another way it could be described. Okay, how do you maintain that all through the day? Now, uh, I have to use languaging, so languaging is not error, but it's an inner intention to do spiritual work nonstop without a break throughout the day. Now, at different times in different spiritual seekers, uh, different things may be more attractive. For example, cancelling beliefs or placing things into God's hands, or it could be the observer, just being in the observer of thoughts of body of the world uh, and just dissolving any last aspects of a of a ego self so that it no longer exists throughout the day. Or it could be feel the feelings. So it's like, Whatever, just um, now, how do you make this practical? Because the, there is a drawback to meditation or doing practice for 10 minutes in the morning and then being back in ego for the rest of the day. I've done my holy time, 10 minutes in the morning. Now, the rest of the day, it's Netflix and donuts. <laughs> I've been good for 10 minutes. There is a downside to that is that you're not going to stay awake the whole day. It's like you say, there's ego deprivation for 10 minutes in the morning where I do my course lesson or do my meditation, and then my ego is allowed to run riot without any checks throughout the rest of the day. So how do you stay awake, even with everyday life? That's a more, I mean, first you need to be able to, first it's very, very good to be doing the lessons, of course, miracles, or doing the observer self-inquiry, um, but, um, and you sort of master those. The easiest way to master those is like dedicated time when your ego is very loud. Like I'm doing my course lesson now, I'm doing self-inquiry for 10 minutes. And in, in the beginning, uh, you get these aha moments where you realize you're not the body, you're not the thoughts, or this flow state without being a body or your thinkingness, think of think self is the is the truth. And that's like a, a eureka sort of um, uh, there is a Sanskrit word, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Samadhi kind of thing, a moment. But um, and then you're back into thinking that was great. And I might I look forward to tomorrow morning when I do it again for five minutes. And that is good for the beginning stages. But later, for everyday life is more advanced. So then the intention is all through the day, nonstop. You're either like you make, you're eating your breakfast, you're talking to your friends, uh, you're working, and you're doing the practice simultaneously. That is more advanced. So... Uh, it's easier to observe with your eyes closed on day one or to be doing your Course in Miracles lessons, uh, sort of, even though it does ask you to do some eyes open, which is good. Uh, you know, just a, alone in a quiet room, for example, or a temple, do your course lesson, rather than do it in a busy street or in the middle of a football match or something. You know, football's not my thing. Uh, so that's far more advanced. But... Um, but to do it in everyday life, you're being able to first do it in an empty room or with your eyes closed, then try walking around the house, keeping that practice up, and then try conversations. That's more tricky to transcend no personal self in speaking to people. It probably even more advanced than that is, is working, where you've got a boss over you saying, uh, you didn't do that properly, uh, and, and doing your practice. Those are more advanced levels. But to ultimately, to have... Full transcendence in all activities, it means you've mastered non-identification with thoughts and personal self, no matter whether you're alone in a room with your eyes closed, walking around, um, talking to your friend, or even working. So those are very advanced uh, states of transcendence. So how do you get there? Um, now, one of the things I realize, um, and I, I do like the, some of the things, one of the things in the, actually it's from 12 steps, it doesn't so much talk about it in the thing, is willingness. The willingness to be consistent. Uh, so if I was like a 12 stepper, I know not everyone is, it'd be like, a, uh, you, you, you can do it in a Course in Miracles way, but it would be, I pray for the willingness to observe or to cancel every single moment of the day with that without resistance you see or to observe or to inquire or to think so it doesn't preclude life but it means that 
you're not going to allow your ego to indulge without sort of um, work on it, you know, even in everyday life. Uh, how I move, move that as I place my unwillingness to be consistent in my practice, whether it's the observer, the course, or cancelings, or whatever, or feeling, just allowing any energies to be released without identifying with thoughts or through, uh, throughout the day. Uh, there are different distinctions, it depends on where a spiritual seeker is as to where I'd speak. But um, okay, I think that's enough on that one. <laughs>